Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Obviously, new bike, so couple of or three or four videos maybe about the bike. Beautiful day out. I just came back from an evening ride. It's about 6:25 in the evening, and this is how bright it is. As summer progresses, it's going to be more and more bright. So, bike was awesome. It was nice and warm actually. Uh, the bike did great, and I thought let's make a quick video because. Uh, a lot of people have asked me some questions about the bike and i thought let's kind of clarify some things the first important point guys is they don't give leases for bikes okay so this baby here has been bought by me there is no lease business so please don't ask is it a lease bike it's not the only thing leased in my family is the mercedes okay which i've clarified in different videos please go check that out this bike is mine owned by me and the day i want to sell it in the future that's also up to me there's no lease that i'm bound by another few things is people asked uh, why did i switch from gsa to this bike uh, obviously i'm not keeping both premium bikes i don't have the garage space and i don't i'm basically not soren paji of mumbai so i don't collect bikes i have one bike and i'm happy uh, this bike many many reasons why i switched now i know gsa anyone with money in india and anyone with money who's a biker will want a gsa it's so bloody common everyone has a gsa every youtube video i look at someone is buying a gsa after they have enough money first they'll buy tiger or they'll first buy the cheaper bikes then tiger then gsa it, it is just the same boring progression of life so i was actually getting fed up of my gsa for reasons i think you guys know I'm not that much into touring for family reasons, for personal reasons. I don't ride across the country from East Coast to West Coast or to South Florida, all that stuff. For me, it is local stuff in New Jersey. I may go to New York City, I may go to nearby states, but mostly I ride very often, three, three to four times a week, but short rides, okay, one to two hours max. So this bike is more suited for my age and my. profile of riding uh, it's a cruiser it's a bagger and i just love it okay the gsa firstly i was finding it too much of happening like red blue green and those silver dabbas on the sides you have to cover them with uh, a wrap otherwise they look like those dalda dabbas so i didn't like any of that towards the later part the first one and a half year i enjoyed my gsa this bike also has a music system the speakers are here the radio was awesome just now the helmet open uh, with the visor open i could hear the music it was fantastic and that i didn't have in my gsa those that that's the first reason okay. so karishma just came to drop something in the garbage and i lost my trend of trend of thought the next point guys is this bike has center foot boards for the brake and gear on the other side but they have the front foot boards also so just like a harley davidson you put your legs up front when you're riding and just like a gsa you can put your legs in the middle while riding so you have both options you can stand and ride also because in a harley you can't stand and ride the foot boards are right in front you can't stand when the foot boards are right in front so second point is the foot boards third point is these panniers are matching the bike they are attached to the bike they are not those dabbas that you remove metal dabbas okay this has some class i mean check out the class here guys i mean this is so cool it merges with the look of the bike really really awesome the next reason this engine is a inline six cylinder and it is basically inline six it's called and it is 1600 cc so more power for the big big size body that i am what else there are many many things this bike has back and front heated seats okay so there's a heater for the passenger and a heater up front for the uh, rider so heated seats are there it has analog 
screen which is a little old fashioned but again I find it really retro so they will probably come with a full screen option too but I haven't got got that option I just went for this the other point guys is this bike is much lower it's I think 28 uh, the height is 28 inches and the GSA was much higher so even though I'm tall the GSA you know you have to climb up you have to climb down I was on my tippy toes all the time and I, I kind of managed but honestly I don't need to be that high I prefer the cruiser low you know your balance and everything is much better and I'm not going off road so this bike is just the way I ride on the city roads all the cool stuff it's got a seven gallon tank gas tank all the buttons and controls are here for the radio plus they are here on the jog dial everything else is similar to BMW this kind of you know the winds, windscreen kind of comes up when you start it has all the cool stuff this seat is so much broader the second passenger seat look how broad this is the GSA was just half I think of this I've sat on the back seat so often of the GSA I barely had this much space but this is like double this seat is really comfortable it's like leather and too cool I like in the, I like the look of this too K1600B that's what the bike is so yeah non-stop talking guys but hope you're enjoying watching this and uh, enjoying looking at the bike the headlight cluster is just amazing it looks totally cool and it has a sporty come cruiser come come bagger kind of look now I didn't want the back top box know that the BMW Grand America comes with the back top box I don't need it it looks too much like a touring bike which I don't do much for me the two side panniers are more than enough and the Grand America is just $1600 uh, more so I could have bought that no big deal but it was in black and silver and other colors which I didn't want this is a limited edition color which is like a green Kalamata green I guess that's what it's called and it kind of matches the Jeep to some extent so many 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 reasons guys and I pretty much like the look for my age you know I think for my age I'm going to be 46 in a month exactly a month by the way guys today is one month since we moved into this house so it's been really cool one month we've really settled in well so those of you are new to this channel go check out my other videos about the house and how we moved here and where we lived before etc etc I'm a little sweaty because it's hot in the garage but these are the reasons why I chose this baby and if I come now to the price, I paid $28,000. I'm not going to say how much I got for the GSA. I'm not going to say how much money I paid extra. That's my business. But this bike was $28,000 with the registration, taxes, everything, everything. So 26 probably was the price and then another 2000 for all the other, obviously, taxes, registration, every everything. And the most important is... Uh, ben, my friend Ben, who's from BMW. Okay, this is how you open the thing. One sec. This is our seat. Just check out the lights, guys. So cool. We think big. We build high. So the radio's on. The radio's on. And I want to open and find my free gift which BMW gave me it's not here so let's see what the gift is yes let me show you this okay sorry the radio was on but I want to show you a free gift I got from Ben this is a fantastic BMW Motorrad rain jacket. Okay, so this is so cool. And again, thanks Ben for this lovely free gift. Okay guys, so this gift is worth $135. I love the red rain jacket vibe. So thanks Ben. Ben's the greatest salesperson at BMW. If you want to buy a BMW in New Jersey, please go to Cross Country BMW at Hersborough Heights. Ben is there, he'll see to your needs. 
and this is the jacket like I just showed you guys totally waterproof rain jacket with a hood and everything so I think it's cool I can wear it actually just as a regular jacket without even on the bike I plan to keep it in the bike this is $135 which I got as a free uh, gift I, I mean you can say I got the bike so that's why I got this but still it was nice to get it so yeah We've kind of tidied up the garage a little bit. Karishma has done a lot of work to tidy this along with me. We're getting some organization happening here. But you'll see some junk all the time. So yeah, bike is done. Now, most probably tomorrow I'm going for a ride with my friend Raj on his tramp. Uh, we're trying to work around the time because I'm a little busy after uh, 12 and he wants to come a little later. So if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. By the way, Dawal guys... I will make another video. Dawal has sold his bike, so I'm going to make a video about that. And Dawal and I are still very much in touch. He's planning to buy something else. But yeah, we'll talk about that. That's a separate video when I probably meet Dawal. Alright guys, I need to log off. It's Saturday dinner time. I need to go up, have a shower and get to dinner. Instagram, Ryan Woodman 75 please like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much for joining. Hope all of your questions are answered on this uh, baby why I bought it and not continuing with the GSA. Thanks so much guys. Take care. Bye.